Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Globet. Today we are at the Canton Fair, also called the China Import and Export Fair. And it took me quite some time to get this um, interpass. Later I will tell about the story. And in this video, we will visit the fair, explain the history of the fair, and interview some buyers. In 1957, the first Canton Fair was held in Sino-Soviet Friendship Building. This was the night view of that building. That year, only 1,223 buyers from 19 countries came to the fair. In comparison, despite the impact of COVID in 2021, at the 130th Canton Fair, more than 200,000 international buyers from more than 200 countries attended, online or offline. This year, the fair is separated into three sessions, roughly one week each, with different products displayed at each session. As the first Canton Fair after the COVID, people had high expectations for this event. However, it made the news when 1.6 million people flooded into the fair during the first phase and people had to queue over an hour to just get McDonald's. Probably because the first phase included electronics and tools that not only professional buyers, but also normal citizens are interested in. Hence, the registration for the second phase was restricted, and an entry pass was sold for 450 RMB on the second-hand market, which costs only 100 RMB. Not until the night I arrived in Guangzhou that I finally managed to apply for an entry pass myself. With my successful online application, I was able to enter the venue and after showing my ID card, I was finally granted my pass for the second phase. Upon stepping into the Canton Fair, one is immediately struck by the sensation of entering a vast and modern space. The four massive venue areas are divided into 13 separate halls, each showcasing a variety of different products. This is the list of exhibitors within the hall 10.3, and it probably will take me more than an hour to just glance through the exhibitors in this hall. Now, if that is not impressive enough, the view from above shows how huge is one hall. And this is only hall 4.1, not the entire hall number 4. This hall is dedicated to toys, and a professional buyer can probably spend a whole week searching and negotiating for what he would like to purchase. These huge halls composed of small cells reminds me of the EU International Trade City, which is a permanent establishment, although here is only for a week. Also, most of these stands are much nicer here and probably costs more to establish. Even when outside is raining cats and dogs, people are still enthusiastically discussing business in the stands. Walking around the fair, you can see different cities and provinces promoting their local industries and corporations, such as Jiangsu, Zhejiang, and Fujian province. To better understand Canton Fair. We are now in front of the Hall of Canton Fair History. So let's have a look how the fair has developed over the last decades. When the fair started in 1957, the transaction volume was only 87 million US dollars. And what is surprising is that in the 1972 and 1973, the transactions at the fair counted for more than half of the export volume of the entire country. So you can say that Canton Fair in those years was extremely important for the economy of China. Today, the fair occupies 1.5 million square meters of exhibition space, and it includes more than 120,000 stands. However, when we look at the transaction amount, didn't grow in line with the number of stands and exhibitors. Probably showing the last decade, e-commerce is becoming more and more important. And similar to what I heard in EU, once you establish a strong relationship, you don't need to meet once a year, but can transact online. 
and since SARS in 2003, the fair has launched an online version to supplement the on-site fair. Now let's walk around the tour, talk to some people and see what they think about the fair. Thank you so much for being with us. So would you start with introducing yourself? What's your name, where you're from, and what's your profession? Okay. Hi, my name is Susana Gomez. I am from Colombia. Uh, my professional is I am the agent. I find the clients, have many clients about mm -hmm. in Latin America, Europe, USA. They, they always, they want to know the factory, if the product in China, then I help my clients for the buy and the checking and the payment and everything. Uh, Tony Heaver from England, well, Essex in England, and um, sales and golden uh, center industry. Okay, my name is Asim. I'm from Saudi Arabia, and I'm in the food business. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Bob, I'm from Saudi I used to study here, now I opened a company. Hello, I'm Tony. I'm from Taiwan. I'm from the leaving industry, so this is a lot of So I'm Saloni Sangri, and I'm from India. I'm from Mumbai. I'm a food and we are an oral healthcare brand. Our brand is called Dr. Dento. It's present in India currently. Hi, uh, I'm the co-founder, uh, Aman Sangvi. As she said, we have an oral healthcare brand by the name of Dr. Lento and we do providing oral healthcare solutions in India. And is this your first time at the Canton Fair? No, many times. Many times. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Many times. Cool. Third, third time. Third time. Uh, first time. First time. And I, I live here in China now around seven years. Yeah. 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 This is your Yes, for yes. me it's yes. First time? Yes. I lived in China about the five years. Oh, wow. Yeah, five years. I am also so happy because, you know, it's about the three years and no had any canton fair. Then had two months. And it's difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I am so happy. I think everyone is calm now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we found everything we needed to do. You, you found yeah. it, what you needed? Yeah. Cool. It's perfect, but it's huge. You need to it is. It is. <laughs> you have to know what you're looking yeah. for. Yeah. It's perfect here. Uh, the weather is awesome these days. We <laughs> like it. It's raining. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but it's good. It's good. In general, it's good. Uh, I like it very much. And uh, the fair was. Uh, very useful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anytime. Anytime. Thank you. Um, that uh, is the thing that I have to do. I have to do. I have to do. I have to do. I to I have to do. I have to do. I to do. I to I have to I to do. I have to do. I have to do. I have to I to do. I have to do. I have to do. I to I that remains to be seen. Once we get back in India, then we'll let you know. For me, China, I love it too much, China, because, you know, for me, always I think it is the, the factory in the world. They can make everything here. Here, everything is possible in China. Then this, they make me so happy. I like living in China also. Always I talk very good about the, all my friends, my parents and my clients. And I want many people come to China <laughs> now. It's open again. Everything is very good. Then I am so happy for that. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Anything? It's, uh, it's worth visiting. People are very friendly and um, Yes, it's a very well organized train show. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. My view with China, China is, is good, it's welcoming. 
apart from this uh, three years, we just think that in COVID, but everything is get back, back in the normal. And now here we can see many people, uh, many foreigners are, are coming for the exposition. Even even my already have mine. And I'm going to the exposition. So we say two words. I think all of us are great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I think my overall experience was very good, uh, better than what I had expected. And, and uh, I would say that uh, being from India, we know very little about China. Uh, many news don't come out, but I would say you should come down here. It's a fantastic country, uh, a lot of good infrastructure, a lot of good people, many things to see, many things to learn, and a very uh, friendly people around you. So just to, just you should one get humble it. suggestion, as right now currently worldwide, English is the most spoken language in China. We had little bit trouble in communication. Yes, so carry a translator along or a translation app. But Otherwise, introduce English to at least a new generation. <laughs> That's all. I totally understand. <laughs> I mean, uh, on behalf of the new generation, probably it's getting better. <laughs> yes. Hopefully, yes. Actually, we experience that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Please go ahead if you want. One more point that I wanted to add. Uh, really love the overall atmosphere, the connectivity, getting around to the places. The way the, the city is connected and the greenery also. It's very good, very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Glopen. So that's it for our video today. What do you think about the Canton Fair? Do you think unsigned fairs will continue to be important for international trade? If you have any comments, questions, or topics that you would like to see in our next videos, feel free to comment in the section below. So if you enjoyed our video today and our channel, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and share so that more people can see our awesome videos in the future. Here we inspire learning, exchange and business. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.